Social media can be an interesting tool for people to use. It can be used for good and bad, just like any other tool. But it really depends on who's wielding it and why and what's their intent. The reason I'm talking about social media right now is Total Biscuit. If you don't know who Total Biscuit is, he is a British-born games critique journalist. He doesn't do reviews, he does first impressions of video games, but he also will review some games in a sort of thematic way, usually towards the end of the year and whatnot. He's been doing quite a bit more work and I haven't been able to keep up with everything that he does. However, I follow him on social media and I follow his goings on through his subreddit. Now, he recently just posted a twit longer tweet about the use of people posting pretty much every single one of his tweets onto Reddit, on the subreddit, Cynical Brit. I'm not gonna read the whole thing out loud, but basically he quotes, great minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, small minds discuss people. And there's an awful lot of discussing a person going on right now because he says that people will post his tweets on Twitter and then basically just deconstruct everything he's saying. And the fact that they're taking on this personal agenda to deconstruct everything that he's saying and, and say, you know, is this good or this bad, what have you, and this is causing him some consternation, which is understandable, yet at the same time somewhat not, because I'm random Joe Blow who nobody really gives a shit about for the most part. You know, I'm an average guy on the world, in the world and on the internet, whereas Total Biscuit is one of the most popular streamers on Twitch, one of the most popular YouTubers, and has quite a hefty following th across the globe. And as somebody who has celebrity status, he will be in the crosshairs of many people, both good and bad. Unfortunately, the bad usually always outweighs the good no matter what, because the good rarely ever have a whole lot to say. They're the echo chamber. They're, they're the people that look at what's said, nod their head, and go on with their day. But the bad, the people who don't like what you have to say, or what you have to do, what have you, for their own reasons, and we don't know what they are individually because there are too many individuals to account for, they are the ones that effectively have the loudest voice because they're the ones who are saying something for the most part. And this seems to be a constant. There doesn't seem to be anything that I can find that dismisses this idea that stands against this tide. And even if they do, in fact, stand against that tide, they are pretty easily pushed over. Now, as somebody who does follow the Cynical Brit subreddit and also follows him on Twitter, Personally, I find myself enjoying the fact that his tweets are posted on Reddit because I tend not to look at my timeline on Twitter. The reason for that is because Reddit is a far more fascinating place for me to go. It is a huge portal with a bunch of information and a bunch of titillating information as well. I can enjoy myself as if I were reading a very huge newspaper and then go into very huge sections of said newspaper and continue. It is in many ways addicting, and I'm aware of this, and I am trying to change it. At the same time, it's also a source of information for me, because it is, like I said, a portal for this information. I can learn things about many things from one place, because other people are doing the footwork bringing it in. So I find myself in somewhat of a rock and a hard place. On one hand, with Total Biscuit, I don't want to have to peer into his life but at the same time those very things that I see are posted by him he places them in a public venue that public venue being Twitter and then the people on Reddit take that and post it on Reddit but then they're able to have a discussion and obviously that discussion isn't direct with him and I think that's where his consternation comes into play he is no longer a part of the conversation about who he is. But he chooses also not to be on Reddit, which is reasonable. It 
you know, if you don't want to be, that's understandable. I, and like I said, you know, being myself in somewhat of a rock and a hard place, I don't want to promote the negative behavior, but I also don't want these things to go away. You know, I found out about his cancer. I found out, found out about his son. I found out about Jenna losing weight. I then found out a lot of things about who he is and his personhood, if you will, through Reddit because of that community. Is that to say that the community is the best? Not really, but it's not the worst either. But from his perspective, I can somewhat walk into his shoes and understand because every ounce of information he posts on Twitter goes to Reddit. And then, as I said before, with him not being part of the conversation, these people will simply just deconstruct everything. They'll say what's good, they'll say what's bad, they'll try to mold him through their own little echo chamber. And this can some, I don't really see it that often, but when you are a celebrity and they're talking about you and the things that you perceive, the things that you see that other people don't see, that outsiders looking in are not going to experience, I can see why that would be something of concern. He states that he wished social media hadn't existed and that his life would be better off. In a sense, sure, maybe. But again, like I said at the beginning, it is a tool and how we use it is what's important. It's a means of communication. It is the internet. We are going to find ways of communicating. People who are going to do their thing are going to do their thing. More than anything, I feel that his twit longer was simply just a rant to vent about what the circumstances are, and not so much about a purpose for, a, yet again, deconstructing his argument. I am... I would say about 95% of the time in agreement with TB when it comes to the majority of things, because he's a level-headed person who has a lot of smart things to say, and he knows how to shut down a lot of ridiculous sentiment. And maybe that's one of the reasons why he's frustrated by this whole cynical Brit subreddit, because he's not a part of it. He chooses not to be for various reasons, and you know, I, I understand and respect him for making his choices as he will. But I guess that's kind of the nature of choices, too. The choices that we make to not interact will... They'll do their thing. You can't control every element of the world, and sometimes it sucks, especially when those elements influence you or could influence you. Personally, though, I think that uh, with TB, he needs to keep doing what he's doing because he does something pretty awesome that nobody else does as good as he does. And he brings an air of personality that, sure, some may consider rash or abrasive, but I think it lends itself to the medium. I think that that rashness, that abrasiveness, makes what he's doing a bit more valuable. And, you know... We, we always want a little drama. We always want a little personality. And that personality creates the drama when we're ingesting anything, any kind of media or content. Because otherwise, it's just flat. It's rote. It's anybody reading a script, effectively. You know, anybody can go into an audition and read a script. But not everybody can go in there and give the character on that page personality. This is something I'm learning from acting. And with my life getting quite a bit more hectic and me trying to figure out what I need to do on a daily basis, it is kind of nice having a bit of that information about what's going on in the world. And even in the world of gaming, even though I'm not nearly as invested as I used to be, because it is a part of our world, to dismiss what video games are and what they can bring to us is, I think, kind of ridiculous. They've been growing for the last three decades. I would know. I've been around, <laughs> mostly as an observer, sadly. You know, I wasn't really 
able to interact with it too much, but I can find the value in them. And I can find the value in the technology that's coming alongside with it. And having persons like Total Biscuit and one of my personal favorite YouTube celebrities, Jesse Cox, talk about these things and talk to about them as if they are important because I feel that they are, it makes the subject matter far more important, reestablishes that in my mind, and maybe, again, maybe this is just a circle jerk. I don't know. But I feel that if you go back and you look at what science fiction writers were talking about, a lot of the stuff that's going on in video gaming is exactly what they were talking about. They may not have known precisely what it was going to look like, or maybe they had a, a vision in their mind and the reality is different. And I know personally, having thought that myself, you know, I thought when I was a kid, there would be remote controlled airplanes going to war and there are, but they're not the same way that I thought they were. But that's normal progression. That's normal change. That's normal adaptation. That's life. Life does not respond the way that you think it will. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I'm taking improv, so that I can learn how to respond without forcing the idea. Ultimately, when it comes to social media, who you are, what's going on in your life, Inevitably, you're going to do what you're going to do. And the changes that you make will likely be conscious changes, not subconscious. It may not be, I need to stop using Twitter. It may just be, I need to do this more. It's kind of happened that way for me. There's always an active concept going on in your mind. And then there's also the subconscious things that are going on. And you're saying to yourself, well, I need to do this thing, even though you don't really know what it is specifically. Honestly, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> it's mostly just, this is a response to TB. One, I appreciate that they put that information on there so that I can see it. But I also understand why you would be frustrated at the fact that these people are discussing the things that you say, they're scrutinizing a 140 character limit post, unless of course, a bit longer, which you use a rate on occasion. I've followed you for years, and I will continue to follow you because I respect you. I respect what you have to say, and I respect what you do. I hope that these types of antics, activities, and simply unsavory acts by other persons will not persuade you to go silent. I'd like to keep listening. 